it's crazy Bingo Shime. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So here we are, guys. We're gonna be watching the third episode of Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, part three. And whew, the episode so far, guys, I'm absolutely loving. They're so good, so detailed, and just really well done. Like surprisingly, I won't lie. A little Easter eggs and just. How they call attention to details to certain Easter eggs, um, like C-3PO in the second episode, no, the first episode, I didn't even realize that until I went back and watched it, um, C-3PO and R2 were in that episode, but I love how it's not calling attention or, like, pulling away from the story, it's just like, oh, they're in the background, oh, they're there, oh, this is this, oh, this, and it's just like, oh, wow, like, beautiful subtle details that stand out so much and mean so much in the world of obviously Star Wars um but just so well done so Deborah like mm -hmm, chef's kiss so well done also I wanted to quickly say because this has been going on for the last few days but the whole thing with Moses as Reva oh god like my anger boiling within me like hmm I have a lot of words to say about that, guys. But I will just say that I obviously stand with Moses. She's an incredible actress. And she's so good at what she does. And she's caught my attention in Obi-Wan. She's so good. She's incredibly talented. And yeah, if anyone's going to give her a shit, and if you're going to come onto my channel and do it, don't even dare because you'll be deleted off the channel. So don't worry. Please support this woman because she's so incredibly talented. She's so cool. And just, she deserves the love and support because this is the love and support that didn't go to John Boy Boyega, um, Rosemary Tran, I think that's her name, um, no, she played Rose, I think it's, Kel no, Kelly Marie Tran, my, my apologies, and even just to the rest of the actors who are coloured, or Asian, or whatever, have all been bullied and harassed by s some Star Wars fans, and so, I'm just gonna say, that is not allowed on my channel, that is disgusting, um, and, yeah, if you believe in that crap, please unsubscribe. I do not mind. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. We're gonna watch the third episode because <laughs> we were left on a big moment last episode as, hmm, well, let me run away because I don't want to blow your eardrums. Darth Vader! And also Anakin Skywalker, but guys, <laughs> so good, so amazing, it's just, I love, again, like, how subtle it was. Like, not even subtle. It was just this big moment and then end. Like, that's how you finish an episode and you keep people waiting. Like, brilliantly done. But anyway, let's jump right into this episode and watch the hell out of it because I'm super excited. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. <gasps> He's meditating! Okay, sorry. It's gonna be a lot of shouting this episode, I tell ya. Hello? Oh. <gasps> oh my god, he's coming out of the tag, guys! Sorry, 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 sorry. I gotta chill. Oh! Oh my god! Sorry, sorry! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my Jesus Lord. Oh, can I be? I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! Wait, 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 wait! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I- <laughs> People don't actually understand how much I love Obi-Wan, but also Anakin, like, and also just Darth Vader, like- <sighs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry! Let's go! <laughs> Hello, sir! Oh my god. Oh my god, that imagery! Sorry, I keep shouting and people are gonna tell me off. <gasps> oh, Jesus! Oh my god! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! It's four minutes into the episode! What the. Dude, I'm sorry! Dude! I'm sorry! This is the most I've ever reacted like this before, but guys, come on. We've waited for this for so long. Okay, I'm fine. Huh, okay, I've dropped stuff. It's fine. We're fine. Let's go. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. Oh, yeah. Is this... 
Oh, it's his. It's his. Uh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> huh? Where is he? The Grand Inquisitor means nothing. Kenobi is all that matters now. Also, James Earl Jones. It's been so long. I have been watching you, the sister. Oh. I know what it is you see, and the position of Grand Inquisitor is yours. Oh. Oh, so good! Oh my god, he's fixing his Lola! Whatever her name is. The Lola for later. Fine. What does it feel like? Oh. Turn on the light. I feel safe. Yes, it feels like that. Oh! Oh! Hello? Excuse me? Hello? Is Darth Vader playing tricks on him? Mm. Oh, oh, that's why he's coming! That's why. Oh no, he's not. Never mind. He's gone somewhere else. My bad. Oh wow, what a shot! Love that. I'm not in charge here. Oh. Who? It is mine. I am the next in line. Ooh. Spoke to him yourself. He asked me to lead the hunt. Unless you feel I should follow your orders instead. Send out the probes. Do it now. Ooh. I like her. This is where he told us to come to. Maybe they're just late. Maybe it was a lie. I knew it. I never should have trusted him. We don't know. Come on, Obi. Have a bit of faith. Aren't you going to say hello? Hello. <laughs> She's perfect as Leia. All good people out the tall. They pay their way, listen to the Empire. Absolutely. Nice to meet like-minded folk. Nothing wrong with a little order, right? No! Oh, no. He met my mother. Of course she... She's not with us anymore. It's been a very difficult time. <laughs> cool. We called her Leia. I thought her name was Pumba. Uh-oh. You're supposed her mother's name. I get confused. Like I said, it's not been easy. Sometimes when I look at Luma, I see her mother's face. Oh! <laughs> we all miss her very much. Whoa, is he talking about Padme again? Oof, I love that. That scene was great. I actually really liked it. It was a great contrast to, like, even though Obi-Wan doesn't like the Empire, it's sort of like a great contrast to how he even treated the clones, which was with some sort of respect and friendship. My real mother, didn't you? It got up! Just a story. Do you remember your father? Oh, oh, no, darling. <laughs> no. Oh, close. Oh. Glimpses. Flashes, really. My mother's shawl father's hands. Oh. I remember a baby. A baby? Yes, I think I had a brother. No! What? We get off here? Oh, it's a standard inspection. Don't worry. We'll take long. Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna scan them. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, heck yeah! Obi! <laughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> Let's go. Oh! Oh, baby! Be Leia! Oh no! Oh! Hello! Huh? Hello? I'll take the credit. You go right ahead. 
but we both know we'll be standing by his side when this is over. Oh, I love that, like, symmetry of the chair between them. Love that! Oh, what a shot! What the hell? I love this show. It's so good. You're not the first Jedi to come through here. It all leads to Jabeen. From there, we give them new identities and get them out. Oh. Uh -oh. oh! <laughs> the Inquisitors. Is. He's like teasing him. Ah! Ah! Oh no. <laughs> Jesus, dude, the tension. Whew. That was some of the best filmography and just. Setup was amazing. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Irby! Come on, Irby! Oh my god! Wow! Irby's afraid of him, and Anakin's like, well. Oh my god! Darth Vader's letting him run. Oh my god. <laughs> He's coming! <laughs> what have you become? I am what you made me. <laughs> fire in his eyes is that my boy Anakin fighting back a little bit letting him go come on a little bit I think oh Leia please Leia go to the pilot go to the pilot go to the pilot <gasps> Reva Reva no Jesus Christ almighty um I mean what like what I mean oh, I'm speechless guys like what even was that like it was so good honestly I did not expect any of that to happen um but I will definitely say who has it already raised the bar of my expectations of what this show is is and what it's going to be like the tension 
was so brilliant in this show like in this episode was brilliantly done like and I loved it because it just seemed like every moment was planned tactically like beautifully and just like written so well um because obviously as you guys know I've obviously studied film and stuff so just like the peaks the peaks and then the climax and then the slow fall down um and then leaving us with a little bit of like oomph like what's gonna happen next oh god brilliant I mean seeing Hayden in the suit as Darth Vader. I mean, come on guys, like, we <laughs> we haven't seen him in it since the birth of Darth Vader, so like, this is huge. And just, like, I mean, I know obviously people are like, he's like the body and everything, he's the movement, but that just makes it so much more powerful. And especially because he's playing, like, literally like, Anakin right after all of that happened with Mustafa and his transformation into Darth Vader. He is... Anakin's like and obviously he's not like that deteriorated man that we see at the end of like the um ugh, like the when he dies like oh god like it's beautiful and just woo, I hope we get more flashbacks because that moment where there's Hayden in the cloak it reminded me when he's a Mustafa crying his eyes out and just hold on wait actually I just thought of this I forgot to do this because with my ring light, I can obviously change the colour, so because we had Sir Vader end on that note, we'll leave it with the red lighting, a little bit, orange lighting, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> but I would, dude, like, <clears throat> the amount of moments where I just wanted to cry and scream, and I mean, I did, I mean, you guys saw me, <sighs> oh, just... Mm, so good so good and just the cinematography the moment where like Darth Vader is standing in front of the fire and there's just the flames in his eyes like beautiful and just such great representation and even just symmetry into what's going to happen to Darth Vader at the end like he dies in the flames and just not dies like buried in flames literally um and just even it just represents so much like his anger as Darth Vader his sadness his just his pain and then also just the fact that his brother Obi-Wan um killed him in Mustafa basically in the fires of like the greatest fires in the galaxy it basically just so good and just I am, <laughs> I'm in love with this show, guys, as you can see. I'm hooked to it, and I love it, and mm, honestly, just, like, chef's kiss to this whole show, and even just to this episode alone, I'm so impressed, and uh, it's, I'm so excited for the next episodes that we have. We have three more episodes! Oh, already! Oh, I don't want it to be ever already. Um, 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 um. I can eat it all up, so just give it to me, dude. This is like the one show where I'm like, can I binge watch it, please? Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm very impressed with what we've seen so far, and I cannot wait for the next episode. And obviously, we're going to be chasing after Leia, poor thing, has been captured oh, by Reva, and just, mm, I love Reva. She's so cool. And then, um, just, <laughs> so good. And just all the Anakin feels, all the Obi-Wan feels, and just, mm. also, I just, again, I said it last time, I love the quiet moments with Obi-Wan and Leia, just, mwah, like, thank you. And just even the stuff about him talking about himself as a Jedi, and before that, and the glimpses he had, and just, so good, because we never obviously got that in the past. So good. And then, oh, I just, again, I hope we get flashbacks to young Anakin and young Obi-Wan. Please, like, please, I would love that. Please, dear God, please give a prayer and let us see that. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on episode three of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Like, hmm, so good, guys. So good. And just... I am ready for more. <laughs> now, I would talk about this more, but I gotta go and finish editing this, and then I gotta go get my butt to bed, because I have work tomorrow. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Pringle, out. Woo!